Hi, my name is Tara Arnold, and we are on Team Rahama Provisions. Um, so, before I continue, I just want to point out in the bottom left corner, so this is our business partner, Jemai, and this is her current situation with her provision store. Um, it is a very small space, as you can tell. She's just selling out of a window right now, and you can see right in the middle here, that's like kind of her organization, and that's how customers are viewing her store. Um, so, just a little bit about our business partner, Jemai. Um, so she is a mom of two children, so she has a 15-year-old and she has a 13-year-old. Um, and unfortunately, three years ago, her husband passed away, so that left her not only being a mom, but now she has to fend for her family and be able to financially support them. And being a female and being an uneducated female, that is not that easy to do. So she came up with a provision store where she's selling goods to her community um, and people fairly close to her. And not only is she a, a very, very, very strong mom and a strong businesswoman, she's also very connected to her community. Um, just recently, her son had a surgery in his leg, and she could not financially support that surgery. So her community came together to help fund that. So even though she is this wonderful woman, she still faces many problems today. One of the biggest ones is her lack of space. She, currently, her room could not even fit a full-size bed, and that is a problem for having customers in a store, especially if she wants multiple at a time. She sees about 50 customers each day, and if she were to move to a bigger location, she could see many more. Next is she's lacking capital. She does not have the funds to currently buy the supplies she needs and afford rent, and just to be able to supply her whole business entirely. And some of it, if she's also lacking her financial literacy. She is not, she's never taught how to budget. She doesn't take the time out of her day to say, this is how much inventory I have, this is how much I have to budget for saving my company, and some for me I can take care myself. And, these, and that's why she needs to be taught how she can be a little bit more financial literacy so that way she can really expand her business. Hi, my name is Irene, and this is the SWOT analysis. So, as Cooper was talking about the problems, it also reflects on the weaknesses. So, I would like to first start talking about the strength. One of the of Jaman, Jaman, the biggest strength is that she has run this business for three years. With this ex experience, she knows the basics to do's and don'ts of business. Another strength is that she also has clients, a loyal client, tell to her. One of the opportunities, the amazing opportunities she has, is the con is a partnership with leadership initiatives. So with this, she will be able to expand her store and she will um, know new ways to manage her store. Um, a weakness is, of course, the lack of capital, the lack of space, and the lack of, um, the lack of literacy. So for the threats, we have the fact that there is unstable power at Nigeria, which keeps her to a limit of supplies. Another threat is the crime. And of course, there's crime everywhere. But however, in Nigeria, there is there is not enough crime to stop this. So it puts it puts her in a tough position and also at her, her business. So in order to address the problems that Jemai has expressed about her business and what my colleague Cooper has said before, our team thought intensively about the best solutions we could offer her. And you can see the ones that we've came up here on the side, but we'll delve into each one separately and explain in depth. Our first solution up is the new location. This new location is very close in proximity to the local marketplace in Karpin Madafi, which is her hometown. So she wanted to be closer to the community as possible so that uh, she can bond with them since their relationship is as close as family. And then the new store also boasts a larger storage room so that she can store the new supplies that we're buying for her with the budget, which in turn can serve the larger customer base she attracts within the marketplace. The next solution is the paint. So the almond colored paint and the off-white paint help highlight her store from the rest of the marketplace. Previously, her old store was very blank and dreary and most people couldn't really tell there was a store there. So her new store will use these paints to attract more customers. On the interior, we'll be using almond paint with an accent of off-white paint to give it homey coffee shop vibes to our customers, while on the exterior, we'll just only be using almond paint. 
So next is the supply. So we know it's super important that we are constantly restocking for normal rotation items. So these are items that her customers are going to her right now for, and then we're also using part of our budget to get her new items, things that she cannot afford right now. So that could be soaps, um, beauty products are pretty expensive, um, that could be different types of noodles. We just want to really explain her clientele and be able um, for her to reach out to everybody in her community and everyone can come to her store and have something that they could buy. Uh, the next thing is, so in Nigeria, it's the 17th least peaceful country in the world. Let that sit for a second. That is, that is pretty, that's pretty bad. That's pretty, um, it's pretty dangerous. So locks are super important. We must have locks. And we're also going to have like a concrete countertop. So I know in the States, we go in the grocery store, we grab the product and we put it in a bag. But in Nigeria, it, run, it runs a little different. So it's going to have a concrete wall. So the customer is not going to come into the store. Um, can you go to the next slide? It'll be organized by shelving, so the customer will be able to say, I want that item, I want that item, and she will bag that for them. Um, so that stops any, you know, people cannot really steal, people can't really touch the product. It'll just be Jemai, our business partner, touching. And also, when we were on call with her, the one thing she really mentioned was she wanted to be able to expand her business. One of the ways she wanted to do that was through perishables. Perishable items such as meats and dairy. The only way to store those items for a very long period of time is through a freezer or in the fridge. Without that, it is impossible to store those items up and going bad. The problem is, in Nigeria, they, have rolled, they face rolling blackouts, and there's no way for them to have a stable source of electricity, no matter how rich you are. So that's why we have a generator to make sure that she is always going to have that power, and she is always going to be able to make sure those items never go bad. And then also, for our financial literacy, as I mentioned before, we have given her a template of a ledger, and this basically helps her keep track of her transactions, her inventory, and also just who came in and how much she has, and how much she can take home to spend on her family. Hi, my name is Melina Malkani, and next I'll be talking about the budget. Our budget was $2,750, and for infrastructure, we used around $2,600. With our plan, we will provide Jumai with a new location, new inventory, and hopefully new customers. With all these improvements, Jumai will hopefully be able to gain more profit and be able to send her children to college. Having this business was a way for her to fund her kids' um, college. Secondly, we split our budget into two sections, one, equipment and supplies. Examples of equipment is a mini fridge and a power generator, and examples of supplies are cooking oil, rice, and flour. Additionally, we created a chart which you were able to see which items take up the most money in our budget. As you can see, the power generator and the power generator fuel takes up most of the money in our budget. With the grant, we have many future goals, and one of our future goals that we want to accomplish more is build, building a more um, stable store for her, for her to have more opportunities. And in the future, as the store expands, we want her to hire new help so she can have self-time and time for her family. In the far future, we want to build more stores for her financial to be more stable and more secure. If you have any questions, feel free to contact any of us. And I would also like to thank you judges, the audience, and especially my team members, because without any of you guys, no it's impossible. And thank you and have a great day. Good, guys. Um, congrats on that. Uh, a couple of things that I would mention. I, the handouts that you have does not match your deck, so it's a little hard to follow when you've moved on. Um, like I wanted to review the budget, but I don't know where it is. Um, I think this was more kind of the proposal that you gave us. Um, so just make sure that that's, if you're going to hand out something to a presentation, that it matches, unless you tell us it's a takeaway which for our purposes, we do not have a takeaway document for us to review afterwards, right? Because we don't have time. Um, and then, knitting. did I say that right? You did not introduce yourself, so make sure you introduce yourself, okay? Um, you all had various ways to present. There was a lot of hand movements, so try and control that, um, especially if you're not pointing or you're not emphasizing, you know, like adjective, you know, big things or small things, that sort of thing. Um, overall, I think, the presentation itself, I can follow where your judgment is. There are a little areas that probably could have used a little more research. For example, you had a supply slide. You had a picture there of, an, of the flower that they don't sell in Nigeria. 
So just make sure that if you're going to put items in your presentation, that, that they are actually available in Nigeria or the country that you're presenting it. So just make sure that those, those are verified, et cetera. Um, the SWOT analysis. I think you could, have, you could have delved in a little bit more about the threats um, that the business is take, has taken on, you know, not just, you know, I, you mentioned security, inflation, et cetera, but I didn't really hear too much about the, co the competition. So that would be something that as business, um, people who, who, do, who finance businesses, we would want to know what the other competition is if it's in an area where, you know, you did mention some of that, but it wasn't clear if there was a direct competitor. Um, but overall, I think it was really good, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, my take is actually different, guys. <laughs> I love the simulation because, like, your presentation, it's really speaking loud to me that I live in Nigeria, and that's the truth. So, and you are kind of like, you, you give us like a very good background about your business partners. Like there is a good connection between the two of you. So that's really, really uh, the most important part of your partnership with her. And your passion towards seeing that uh, her small business actually grow to a bigger one uh, from a small shop inside a house, you kind of like give us a clear picture of how the next shop is going to look like. That is really, really great. I'm really proud of that. And uh, your budget, it's really incredible because you kind of like mentioned like the key um, aspect of the provision store and uh, not just providing like her, uh, providing her with all the, the, the resources she needed, but you consider also the security aspect of, the, of her finances, how she's going to make sure that nobody steals from her and stuff like that. And you understand the culture of how the business operate there. It's really incredible that people don't really go to the shop and just pick whatever they want. So understanding that, it's more or less like you put yourself in Nigeria, despite the fact that you guys are here, you have never been there. So that's really, really incredible. So I'm really proud of your presentation, and I can't wait to see that working in Nigeria. So thank you so much. Okay, I really also thought that you had very good substance of your presentation. Um, I agree completely with what you just said. And the, um, obviously you understood the culture, which a lot of people in America don't understand the differences in the culture, like you mentioned security and other things. Uh, I'm gonna spend a little more time talking about the, the presentation. I think for the, for the most part, you all had everything pretty much memorized. Um, you know, I, uh, I'm an accountant, so I can understand why you want to make sure you have a card there to check the numbers. You don't want to be wrong. Um, the, uh, the diction, I was very pleasantly surprised because when we were doing the audio check, I was like, oh my gosh, a couple of these people I'm going to have a hard time hearing. But I had no problem. Um, you're all clear and audible. Your language is good. Your pronunciation w was very good. Like I said, I was a little worried at the beginning. Um, uh, eye contact and gestures varied. I'm going to call Tara out. Very good uh, gestures. Probably had the best gestures of anyone, but everybody did use gestures. Um, let's see. Clarity of argument. I made a note of Cooper. You, you, I think everybody did great there. I gave, gave you a 10. I y'all a 10 on that. So Cooper, but you get a plus. 10 plus. Okay. Um, and in keeping the audience engaged, I think you all did... Um, did well on that. Uh, let's see here. I gave a plus to uh, uh, Varelli on uh, the explanation of the case. I think your, case, your explanation of it was very good. Um, the whole group got a 10, but I just wanted to call you out, a shout out. And then uh, uh, I think the, uh, the same thing with uh, Nateen, the, the explanation of the case, the quality of the research, the clarity of the argument, you did very well in all of those. Again, I gave the group a 10 on that. So y'all did very good in the substance and understanding the culture, which I think is important, but also in presenting. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, good job. I second my, my colleagues uh, two or three points. Uh, uh, the generator recommendation, uh, 
As you know, uh, the world is troubled by climate change and global warming uh, and, and, and related problems. Uh, so uh, your opportunity as a consultant, which is what you are in this case, is to expand your client's uh, range of possibilities, their thinking. And something like solar energy uh, might have been considered. Uh, um, this is not a critique, it's, it's a, a suggestion for the future. Uh, uh, I don't know whether that's feasible for her location, but your opportunity is to put it on the table and then to consider the pros and cons of, of such a uh, alternative source of energy and a more reliable source. Uh, and it in fact is uh, being adopted and taken up more and more across Africa. So some form of clean energy source other than a generator uh, is worth bringing to the client's attention in your report, in your presentation. Uh, most small businesses around the world think that their number one problem is lack of capital. Uh, your challenge is to challenge the client's definition of their problem and to have them step back and say, is that really my problem or is it is something else more of a problem? And that something else often tends to be themselves and their own management ability. Now, she has experience running her store successfully, but uh, if she were really on top of it, she probably would have figured out these things that you're pointing out herself. So, uh, and I'm probably going to say this for, for every team, I'm, I'm suspecting, uh, continuous training ought to be a recommendation and ongoing management assistance from some source, such as you've given her, but she needs to have that on an ongoing basis. Uh, forever. There'll, there'll never come a time, no matter how successful she is, when she wouldn't benefit from a third party outside professional uh, look at, at what she's doing and how she's, how she's managing. Um, the shoplifting and crime problem, I don't know what to say about that except that, uh, again, there might, putting up a concrete barrier and not allowing shopping is, is the standard mode there, I, I get that. But as time goes by, hopefully she can perhaps uh, be creative and think, <coughs> I don't know what that would be, but you're the consultant, so your task is to help her think beyond that. What else could she do that would be more customer friendly? Unless the community is so full of thieves that there isn't any uh, other uh, option. But to look at other options, uh, what else might, uh, might so, uh, address that problem of shoplifting or potential shoplifting uh, and lead her to a uh, higher level of sales and, and, uh, and better customer relation. But great job, and uh, she'll benefit from what you provided her. Thank, Thank you. you.